Yeah, hello. Uh, the problem that uh, me and Helmut set out to solve uh, this weekend is a problem of uh, finding a repertoire for whatever uh, combination of instrumentalists you're playing together with. Suppose you gather a bunch of friends, one of you plays bassoon, and one of you plays viola da gamba, and one of you plays uh, tin whistle. Find me some music for bassoon, viola da gamba, and tin whistle. Uh, <laughs> Something like that. And that's a problem everyone who does chamber music and, uh, and or gets together with a band of friends to play music, everyone uh, encounters that problem. Unfortunately, it's really difficult to solve. Um, there is, uh, as far as I know, uh, no one big index of uh, pieces uh, sorted by instrumentation. I'm just going to uh, show a few examples, actually. Um, Wait, can I uh, enlarge this? Yeah. Um, let's first go uh, in the Library of Congress. Library of Congress, biggest library in the United States, I think, or at least the, uh, the main library. Uh, if you want to search for instrumentation, they use an ancient system to encode it, and it's uh, encoded in f um, internally in what they call field 48. So actually, you first need to do, I want to search in field 48, and I'm going to search for a viola da gamba, which has the code SG for some reason. Yeah, string instrument, gamba, uh, and uh, one. And then I hope this works, because they have this new website with a responsive design, and it takes 30 seconds to respond <laughs> to a query. Um, for some reason. So while this is while this is going on, uh, I'll show you a different example. This is the this is the library. Can you read this maybe? Uh, I'll I'll try and uh, uh, enlarge this a bit. This is the library of the Brussels Conservatory, uh, where also instrumentation is encoded in strings that are formatted like this, and it says. Uh, this is a piece, uh, give me all pieces for two instrumentalists, one string instrument, one keyboard instrument, and uh, more exactly, one violin and one pianoforte. Um, this is nowhere documented. You need to uh, actually go to the library and talk to the librarian and sincerely hope that they remember themselves <laughs> what the system is uh, in order to get this right. Um, Again, a uh, system very different from the Library of Congress. Next up is the Deutsche Nationalbibliothek, um, where the system uh, looks a bit like this. So uh, BS is Besetzung, uh, so instrumentation. And this is for uh, clarinet, uh, harp, and uh, two uh, clavier instrumenten, so uh, yeah, pianos, let's say. And what you get is uh, this. This is documented somewhere in a PDF file called the Bonner Catalog, and you need to uh, link, go link through uh, before you find it. Uh, this is a disaster. You are not going to find anything, so we try to set out and simplify this a bit. So uh, what do we need to do? All these systems are very different. We need to map it to one single system. There are several systems in existence. Uh, this is, for example, the system used in Norway of uh, instrument names the system used in Finland of instrument names. Uh, the system used by Music Brains is actually pretty good, and uh, we wanted to use that first, but it doesn't contain any voices, so you couldn't uh, search for any vocal music. So in the end, we settled with a new system of the Library of Congress, the LCMPT, the Library of Congress Music Performance Thesaurus, I think it's that, uh, which is developed by the Library of Congress, but they don't use it themselves <laughs> for some reason. Um, in any way, we made a nice mapping uh, from uh, uh, whatever the old system of the Library of Congress to the new system of the Library of Congress. If they don't do it themselves, let's, let's do it. And from uh, RISM. RISM is one of the largest databases of music uh, that's available and of which you can download the full data sets, all four gigabytes of uh, XML data uh, for free. Um, and we thought, OK, let's put this in a large database and make a nice web form and make it a bit easier to uh, query for instrumentation. Um, just, uh, I believe IMSLP has its own system for instrumentation. They actually tag their scores, and you can walk through. 
I, ha I haven't looked into it. We didn't have the time to look into it, uh, whether we could scrape it off the website. MuseScore also uses a system of tagging, and I believe uh, it's encoded in the score itself as uh, you can get it through the API. Also, uh, unfortunately, no time. Otherwise, we would uh, really uh, merge that data set as well. Um, Good. Uh, what else should I tell now? So we w wrote a nice script to uh, get all the data out, uh, pipe it into a MySQL database, and we set out to create a front end in Django with a nice web form. And I'm going to uh, hand the mic to Helmut to maybe talk a bit about that. OK, I'm just going to hook this up very, very quickly. Um, so let's just, oh. This one? Yeah. No, uh, it's, uh, I think uh, this is OK. One second, please. <coughs> Um, where is it? Oh, there we go. Okay, um, so, um, well, the first part was actually getting all this data, which uh, Joachim was doing, which was really, really helpful, and I think very complicated, as you just learned. So, um, uh, obviously, my interest in this project is because I really, uh, I really do a lot in respect with collaborations with musicians and so on, and I know how difficult it is to find repertoire that you can play together. It's very often the biggest problem. So um, this is what um, caught my attention. So um, we built a little uh, front end. Um, uh, unfortunately, we could not fin finalize everything at the end, but this was, you know, kind of like a Google clone, just like a big search uh, thing where you could actually, you know, put an instrument, I don't know, like accordion, and then maybe, I don't know, well, let's put tenor, uh, voice, that's a cool combination. Um, and then you could basically click on this and it would search. It's not doing this, unfortunately, now. And <laughs> 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 wait, 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 wait. It's, um, there's something else. Okay, and then, uh, you know, something like this should uh, show up. You like a very nice uh, search result page, which is, you know, responsive, like really responsive. Um, so at least we have like the, the front end design. Uh, the working thing, the working thing <laughs> looks like this. So, um, so. <laughs> Oh, but it works at least. So, uh, and it also, it runs only locally at the moment, so we could not um, put it live, unfortunately. You know, but you could like select a couple of uh, you know instruments. I will do this here, <laughs> if this works. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, you know, and then it would go, it would go to submit basically. Takes a little little bit of time here. You know, and then you would basically get this very nice list of works that you could. Uh, that you could use with a link to the respective uh, catalog here, for example. It's not even linked. <laughs> you have to copy and paste it. Hey, you know. <laughs> Very good user experience design. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, it, it will link you to the respective thing. So what you could do this with this, for example, you could basically add um, another metadata, like you know, scores that you could maybe find, I don't know, a music score or something like this. Um, you know, and just have like a really nice, um, you know, a service for musicians, yeah. 